republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment. Uh, ask Trustee Alexander to offer a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we appreciate the opportunity to assemble here today and represent our constituents. We ask for your guidance that we make these choices based on your wishes. Uh, we also ask for the, the blessing, guidance, and protection of our military men and women uh, that have provided us the freedoms that we so enjoy. In your name we pray, amen. 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 Okay, we'll uh, have the uh, roll call, please. Josh Freeman is excused. Larry Green. Present. Richard Hamill is excused. Ted Henry. Here. Marilyn Hoffman, absent. Steve Landell is excused. Sheldon Neely. Present. Thomas Burchett, absent. Tracy Tucker, here. Mary Zelenko, excused. Greg Alexander. Here. Joseph Suma. Here. Gail Kerbison. Here. Jeffrey Wright, excused. Jamie Curtis. Here. Chairman Walling. Uh, here. Great, thank you. And just as a reminder, um, if anyone would ever um, care to offer uh, the prayer at the start of our meeting, just please let me know. I, I'd be happy to uh, acknowledge you and, and have you do that in, in any uh, in, in any of your uh, faith traditions. Um, with that, first item on our agenda, we have the minutes from the September 24, 2014. This is the incorporating board uh, only. Uh, please, so moved. Support. Been moved and supported. Um, the incorporating board members present. All those in favor, aye. 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 Uh, opposed, nay. That motion unanimously carries. Thank you. And we also have the September 24, 2014, uh, full authority board meeting. If I can have a motion. Move so, that. It's been moved by Trustee Henry, supported uh, by Trustee Green. Uh, any discussion on those minutes? All those in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. That motion unanimously carries. Uh, second item is the treasurer's report. Hi, Trudy Nickel. <coughs> Thanks, Mr. Chair. Um, I believe you each got a copy of the letter from Plant Moran. We are scheduled to begin our audit uh, December 15th or thereabouts. Um, if you have any concerns or any questions regarding their instructions to you as a board member, please contact uh, the people on here that they have listed as contacts, okay? Um, we, I believe you have the August, September, October uh, reports from the treasurer uh, in your packet. Uh, could, there's just could I stop you for a minute? I sure. just want to draw uh, everyone's attention to the um, second page of the letter from the auditors. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know we all uh, read the materials anyway, but um, to note that there, there are two, uh, we must identify significant risks in this statement uh, as part of the process. So you'll see that there are two areas that will receive additional uh, scrutiny, the initial year funding for the authority, uh, as well as the payments under construction contracts. So just wanted to draw everyone's attention to that. Very good, thank okay. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the, I'm, I'm not gonna go through line by line. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, I would like to just point out what's been done in October, which was our most recent report. Um, as you can see in the construction fund, uh, there was a CD that matured November debt service payment CD for six million twenty seven thousand uh, you'll see on the second line down there three eighty nine oh six and then you'll see where that uh, payment was made second line from the bottom for that same amount there was a, a wire done for that payment that was made and you'll also note if you can down uh, under investment accounts, that 120 million is still down there. Nothing's been touched on that yet, which is good. Um, there was one other th item that we want to mention. Um, we have been working with Talmer Bank. Uh, we had a 15 million investment with Talmer Bank that was debt reserve, and we were earning approximately two and a half percent on that debt reserve amount, and. 
for some reason the, the interest that was earned on those, those monies were deposited into a checking account that was only earning 0.05, which is about the going rate for most of the banks in these days. But uh, we have taken care of that. Carl has called them and we have directed those monies to go back to be reinvested with the 15 million instead of in this uh, checking account. For some reason, uh, there, that, that, that was not what we intended to begin with, so. Is that reflected anywhere in the statements? Uh, the 15 million, I believe, I see that. under investment accounts, I right. think that's. But it's, but not, it's, it's not 15 million either. It was so just taken it. care of. Okay. Just recently, right. this month, so. Right, right. so that includes the It'll reflect on next month's transactions. So. Uh, Trustee Kirk. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, it's been determined by the finance people as well as the attorneys that the auditor KWA will show up by the Genesee County Capital. So I would ask that you know you be conscious of that because we have to have ours in by the end of March, as you know. So we have to have yours in put it in our capital before we can go forward. So it's very important that all components that come into our county capital are very tight. Yes, and is there someone who can provide background on that determination? Why this authority would be a component unit of the county? I, basically, it is because the county is pledging the full faith and credit of the debt uh, to care about the authority. Uh, it was determined that uh, they're including that because that was a liability on the uh, Genesee County. So it, it's not that they're verifying our audit, it's verifying that you're making your payments mm -hmm. and limiting the liability. Yeah. And are you Mr. Chairman, the uh, city of Flint is also reporting it on their cap or just as a footnote on theirs. Right. Anything else for Okay. Thank you, Mr. All right, any, any further discussion on the financial reports? Okay, seeing none, have a motion to receive. So moved. Please, go ahead. It's been moved. Support. Okay. Support, Trustee Summa, thank you. All those in favor, aye. 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 Motion <coughs> made. Note that motion unanimously passes. <coughs> Next on our agenda, we have a communication from Kevin Kilby. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, we requested all board members to turn in documents or um, any information they had with regard to the finance committee. We've taken that into consideration, prepared a document that's been forwarded to the CEO for consideration. Okay. And the uh, secretary has nothing. Our recommendations, it's, it's still at the pleasure of the board. Development of the financial piece. Trustees Kerberson and Trustee Green. Uh, members of our finance subcommittee, do either of you have comments on this communication? This is a direct result of our meeting at the Tennessee County offices, right? Yeah, so yeah this was yeah, the, yeah. a lengthy uh, <laughs> committee meeting where we discussed the purpose of the committee, issues, right? The purpose right. of the committee, how it will be moving forward and so on. And that was the impetus for this, just so you're aware. Now, are you comfortable with this? Um, 
And I realize there was in today. So yeah. if you want to take action today or next time, that's fine. I don't think there's a rush on yeah. this one. No, it's not a rush, but I don't think it's that complicated. Four items. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trustee Green. Yeah. I have no problem with it whatsoever. Okay, Trustee Tucker. So basically, what are you looking for? A uh, approval from this board to approve this type of committee that these will be their tasks and duty and schedule and location, right? No, just be a standing committee of the KWA for finance. Right, but I'm saying you're looking for this board to say that the, it's going to consist of this the, these members. The task that yes. you're giving it yeah. here. So you're looking for us to make this a part of our. Yeah, because there's been because there's been some questions about the, the role yeah. of the finance subcommittee. Uh, this allows us to clarify and be on the same page yeah, I think that's as perfect. an authority. I mean, there's obviously a great deal of financial uh, activity around a project this size, and we want to be clear about what we expect the subcommittee to, to cover with the CEO and staff. Well, if, if you'd like a motion today, I'll make that motion for you. Okay, we'll, we'll take the motion and we can have further discussion. Okay. So we have a, a motion um, for this memo to represent the, the, the finance subcommittee. Sure. Trustees. All right. So Trustee Tucker has offered a motion. Trustee Curtis has, has seconded uh, legal counsel. Uh, just real quick. The committee has already been established. The right. actual role of the committee was significantly different than what's down on this paper, and that's really the only thing that's changing is the role. So this is expanding what had previously been yeah. documented in response to, I think, some appropriate discussion that trustee members had about uh, how we could add value to the process. Well, won't this help um, with the audit, too, of um, how we're keeping track of things, watching finances? Plus, wasn't it the original purpose of the finance committee was just to remind them, wasn't it? Right, right, right. So. Yeah, it was set up at a time prior to uh, uh, you know, us having the, the financial capacity that we have now and questions about what the interest rates would be um, in the regular market transactions. So um, this, I think, establishes a better framework for the subcommittee going forward. And, and certainly, it's important that the, the board have a, a appropriate level of engagement um, as far as the, the audit and our, our duties. Any further discussion or or comments? Just one last question. Clarification. Uh, Kevin, did you put this document together? I did, sir. Okay. All right. Yep. So it is uh, consistent with our bylaws corporation yes it is and you'll see uh, we've talked about the four items on the tasks and duties it, it also establishes that the committee shall meet at a minimum in june or july of each year so there will at least be one meeting in this body and, and there could be more uh, based on the, the duties right. seeing no further discussion oh. uh, a clarification on the resolution uh, it, it, this will be a standing committee so so I would make that note that this is the standing committee that instead of an ad hoc discussion. Okay. All right. Thank you for that clarification. All right. Seeing no further discussion, all those in favor of the motion, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The motion carries. We have a second communication. Uh, Mr. O'Brien, you want to tell us about the... Oh, I want to be asked for one oh, further clarification on the okay. existing. Uh, at this time, there were four, four members of the previous board. It is the prerogative of the board to establish the six members mm -hmm. for the board. So I don't know if you want to do that at this meeting or, or wait to consider at, at a future time. Okay. No, I, I would ask anyone who has interest in that to, to share that with our, our CEO, okay. Jeff Wright. And let's have that uh, as part of our agenda for next next meeting. That way, all of our members, or with the chairman, yeah, that'd be fine. Yeah, the committee can yeah. just pull out, put it to me. So. Yeah, Trustee Hamill's not here. I know, and there's some others who aren't here. So I think that should be you know communication amongst ourselves, and then we can have a, a vote if others express interest at the meeting after everyone's had an opportunity. So there's two on the. 
Yeah, I'll you based six. on this. I'm just yeah, if they don't want to stay on it. But I'm saying four have been appointed already. That's right. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Just to clarify, there shall be no more than two from the incorporating board. That's right. We have one currently serving, so there's one opening from the incorporating board. Right. We have three serving from the authority board, which we're allowed to have four. So there's one opening on the authority board. Okay. Okay. That maxes out. All right. So. Okay. All right. Deputy CEO O'Brien, bond buyer award. Yes. Um, uh, last week, uh, or actually two weeks ago now, uh, the county was notified by the bond buyer, bond buyer that we were awarded the Midwest Region Bond Sale of the Year for our initial bond offering for Care County Water Authority. Uh, I've identified the, the, the website. Uh, they have a nice little video uh, of that, and you can also see uh, the award will be given out in, in December, and at the award ceremony, the, the seven regional winners and private and small bond awards will all be in competition for the national bond sale of the year. So they will announce the winner of the national at the, at the award banquet also. So um, this is, we're being told this is a very prestigious award. I've never heard of it before, <laughs> but we're being told that this is a very prestigious, prestigious award, uh, especially for an initial offering by a, by an agency. So, uh, if you have an opportunity, to take a look at the video. It, it's a, it's quite an impressive video, uh, and then uh, hope that we win the national. Do we have anybody else? Oh, yeah, no, please. Do we have anybody going to this or? Um, we had sent a notice out to the incorporated board members uh, of the event. Uh, at this point in time, Care County Water Authority didn't really have any money for trip and travel. So uh, the Care County Water Authority at this point isn't sending anyone uh, unless uh, the chairman would like to go. And then uh, we invited any one of the host communities that are sponsoring uh, if they'd like to pay for their members to go. <laughs> But we will have um, our, our CEO, also training commissioner for the Jesse County, will will be present. So he is. Sponsored. GCDC has sponsored to pay for a couple people to go. Right. Okay. So we so we will have somebody yes. representing us. That's all I'm saying. Right. And the attorneys and Bob Council are also going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is their family way. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, any further communication? Okay. Uh, seeing none on this particular agenda, you see item number four, we have no consent agenda. Uh, this brings us to our, our first of two public comment uh, items at this time. We, we ask for public comment related to items uh, on our agenda. We do have two new business items. Uh, we have a sale purchase agreement and also a construction uh, budget related amendment. Uh, if anyone from the public has comment on either of those two items, I'd invite that now. Okay, final call. Okay, seeing none, uh, that public comment period is closed. Uh, after we conduct our business, we will have a, a second general public comment period where any item that anyone, uh, the public believes is of interest to this body, uh, will be happy to hear that comment. Um, we have no old business, uh, item number six. Item number seven brings us to our new business. Uh, the first order is resolution 2015-01. Uh, that is about halfway through your packet, just past the bond uh, deal of the year award notification. This is a resolution authorizing the agreement for the sale and purchase water units. Uh, I'd ask uh, Deputy CEO John O'Brien give us a brief description of the resolution. Okay. Um, as you are aware, uh, the Care County Water Authority Board is required to approve the standardized contracts for um, transfer and sale of units. Um, right now, 
Uh, the city of Flint and Genesee County own 100% of the capacity of the system. Uh, for future customer bases coming in, they would have to purchase either excess purchase capacity from the city of Flint or from Genesee County. Uh, this was the proposed uh, agreement for that sale and transfer, which follows along with the incorporation of the papers, the bylaws, and the current contracts that both Flint and Genesee hold. So this would basically be the standardized contract for adding additional customers or adding additional customers to our system uh, in a consistent manner. All right, thank you. Uh, Trustee Curtis, you have a motion? Is there a second for a motion to approve? Support. Okay, uh, Trustee Neely. Uh, you'll note that there is, in addition to the resolution and a brief communication um, from our CEO, following that is the six page actual agreement that would be filled out by the appropriate party. So that, that's uh, one of pages uh, one through six. So all of that is, is included. We've had a motion and a second. Uh, take discussion. Uh, Trustee Kerberson. Yes, so uh, this is for Kevin Orr, John. The, the contract is one we've already established and, and talked about, and it's no significant changes from the ones that were, in theory, approved back when Flint and Genesee County. Okay, sign. All right, what would happen, and, and we'll, let's use the city of Inlay as an example. If the city of Inlay made the decision to join the water authority, the first thing they would have to do is acquire capacity from either the city of Flint or from Genesee County. They would do that by signing this agreement, and then they would also have to sign a KWA water purchase agreement. So they would have to, this is to get them the capacity. So they have to sign the agreement to purchase water, and then they have to turn around and get capacity because the board established the initial uh, 60 units. Genesee County bought 42, uh, and then the city bought 18. So there are no units for carried 90 to sell. So they would have to sign this to get access to the units, and then they could sign the agreement with the authority. So any new member would have to sign two agreements. And the, the agreement we've had in the past is the one that was established for the Caragana. Right. Okay. So this is a new this agreement. Is the, this is the transfer to to legally transfer units from GCDC or from Flint to a new customer. Okay, thank you. Mr. Chair. <clears throat> Trustee Neely. Yes, the question uh, that I have is, uh, the KWA will set the purchase price of any particular available unit, whether it be from the city of Flint or Genesee County, so there won't be competition with our partner. Is that how it's set? That is correct. Until a bond debt is paid off, CARIG 90 sets the sale price so that you don't get into a, a bidding war between two or three communities um, with the actual value of the, of the unit itself. So until the bond, until the bond is paid off, so the county fixes, the KWA board fixes the sale price. And it will be equal. Equal. Yes. Thank you. Trustee Tucker. What exactly is Exhibit D referred to here? And many times, but I didn't see an Exhibit D oh. <laughs> okay. That is Kobe? part of the actual water, the second contract that the CEO is talking about. The second contract of who both the city of Flint and Genesee County signed. The intergovernmental agreement? Yeah, and I don't know if you have a copy. No, 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 not the intergovernmental. No, water purchase agreement. Water purchase agreement or and or capacity agreement. The yeah. agreement for the sale of purchase of water units? That's what I have in my packet. Correct. Yeah, but this that, is the new document. Yeah, the new document. This exhibit D refers to the prior document. So, okay, so yeah. Exhibit D is the prior agreement for sale of water. Units. Yes. No. It, it, well, no, for no. for purchase of capacity. As we indicated, they have to they have to acquire units from one of the two members, and they have to sign a contract with KWA. Exhibit D would be the contract that they signed with KWA. So the two municipalities currently have an exhibit D referred to yeah. that are selling the units. Okay, so exhibit D is the yeah, raw water part of the raw water purchase agreement or the capacity agreement. 
either ones or both exhibit D and both contracts. And I have copies of those in my book if you'd like to see. And the difference between those two contracts is one is an incorporated number and one is not an incorporated number. So as an example, inlay would sign a different contract than the city of Lapeer for exhibit D because city of Lapeer is an incorporated member. Lapeer is for inlay is not. By a purchase agreement for a peer we have an incorporated in. But the important thing in a general level for this body is that those are existing documents yes. that have already been utilized and approved by this yeah. body or the prior incorporating board. Uh, well, Mr. Chairman, I may add those existing pre other documents were reviewed by our council on a corporate member councils mm -hmm. before they became before they went into use. Yeah. Yes, Trustee Green. Just a clarification in reference to the resolution number. Um, I've always been led to believe for you that you do the resolution in the beginning of the resolution and then the number of resolutions you would not be going in here. This says resolution 2015 and we're in 2014. Our, our, our fiscal year begins October 1st. October 1st. So we, we always okay. set for 15. Thank you. But you're Jesse County. Jesse County. Calendar. Kate and Gaze, October 1st. Oh. Any further discussion on the motion to approve resolution 2015-01 authorizing the agreement for the sale and purchase of water unit seeing none all those in favor aye aye, aye. opposed nay yeah. that motion carries the next order of business is resolution 2015-02 I move for discussion. Move for discussion. I move so they may have the discussion. Right. Been moved. That's order. The board. And Mr. O'Brien, give us a brief overview. Yes. Um, right now, uh, uh, as indicated in the past, the uh, Jesse County Drain Commissioner's Office has agreed to uh, manage the Care County Water Authority. Uh, until it's up and fully running, so we're going to manage during the construction season. Um, and, and as indicated, within Carrick 90, we have Jeff Wright, John O'Brien uh, as CEO, Deputy CEO. We have uh, Carl Kramer as Deputy Treasurer, Janice Wells as Deputy Treasurer. Uh, because they are named positions in the Carrick 90 Water Authority, they are covered by professional liability insurance as held by Carrick 90. We do have a significant amount of engineering department staff working on the construction and construction administration. They are not covered by the liability of Care County Water Authority because they're not named as Care County Water Authority people. Uh, and there is a concern within uh, our le legal that Genesee County Drain Commissioner employees are performing a professional service for an entity that they are not uh, being paid for so uh, what we did is we, we drafted a, an agreement for uh, a contract between care 90 water authority and gcdc to be able to provide those services uh, and with that contract we can go to gcdc liability insurance company we have a contract therefore the service we are providing are covered under our insurance uh, Normally, these types of contracts can be signed by the CEO, but because the CEO is also the drain commissioner of the county agency, uh, we, fought, we felt that it was in our best interest, or his best interest, to bring this before the board to acknowledge that the CEO, in essence, is signing a contract with himself wearing two different hats. Mm -hmm. So. Basically, what this does is this provides uh, GCDC with, with, a, with a, 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 a amount of money 
uh, to perform the construction administration uh, of the project under construction uh, and satisfy our, our liability insurance coverage. For that. Okay, you see again that in addition to the resolution and the brief uh, memorandum, there is actually a, a copy of the full 17-page intergovernmental inter agreement. Uh, want to make sure that everyone is uh, satisfied with this agreement and that we do have the uh, appropriate uh, oversight in place. Uh, are there questions or discussion? Uh, Trustee Curbison? Um, I'm going to ask a question of our council. <laughs> this type of an agreement, the work that's being done is something that will have, if there was a mistake, let's say, it will have ramifications. It may not show up for two years or four years. Does this insurance coverage today cover something that may show up years from now? I'll refer to the CDL whether you have uh, incident or current space. Uh, we have both. We have our general coverage as well as incidental coverage on our general liability and our professional liability for our engineers. Uh, yeah. So if it's a current space, you have coverage after the fact, regardless of when the claim was filed. It's similar to like that would appear as a safety right. I, I figured that was the case, but I wanted to make sure it was. There's a statute of limitations. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Further discussion? I, I want us to uh, specifically discuss the, 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 the cost. Uh, you'll see that this proposed service would be $3,000 per month. That's $36,000 on, on an annual basis. You're saying it's a good price? Or? I just want, I want to bring it to light so that everyone sees that, understands the math. You might have a chance. All right. Final, final call for discussion? Okay. Seeing none further, all those in favor? of resolution 2015-02, aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. That motion carries. Thank our staff for hard work of keeping this authority on track and moving forward at a very reasonable cost. Uh, this brings us to our, our second public comment period. Uh, this is an opportunity for anyone to address this body in any matter of concern. Is there anyone who would like to address the body? Yes, sir. Chairman Wallen. Yes, uh, yes, your name. Uh, Mark Munson, 4211 Standing Grove, Thunderhill. I'd like you to uh, take my question and address it to my first comment and question addressed to Mr. Kirbyson. Uh, has Lapeer City uh, a timetable for saying yes or no on signing up for the uh, Caragondi Pipeline Project, buying water and putting a new pipe from the Standing Road area to Lapeer? And, and as, as is our normal protocol, we'll respond during the board comment. So I, I know yeah. Trustee Curbison has noted your question. Yes. And, and my second uh, comment is last night, the zoning board from Oregon Township uh, rejected um, uh, the 35 foot height limit on the main plant at Stanley and Marathon Roads. Um, that was uh, because it was for 50 foot and 35 foot so limit. Uh, because they rejected that, I wonder if um, uh, Mr. O'Brien could comment on if they are just going to build it at 35 feet as is, or if they're going to go back and redesign it by either uh, putting some of that building in the ground so they can put that, they call it a farm look, it's a cupola with a, kind of a barn roof on it to make it kind of blend in, because we are farm country, not a big barn, kind of blend in with the surrounding area. Or are we just going to be stuck with the lower building at 35 foot? Thank you. Thank you for the comments. Uh, any other public comment? Well, final call? Okay, seeing no further comment, we'll close the, the second public comment period. Uh, that brings us to uh, the board comment, and I would ask for um, uh, Mr. O'Brien, uh, in, in lieu of our CEO, Wright being here. 
um, to offer any further comment to the board, including uh, for the for the sake of transparency, uh, uh, any response you can offer to Mr. Munson. We're waiting. He's waiting. Oh, Mr. Kilby, would you like to respond in that in that place? Thank you, sir. The, uh, just a quick reminder to the board. I did issue a legal opinion, and the two questions the uh, gentleman presented are both outside the scope of KWA. Yeah, that's right. And so if they're going to respond, they're going to respond as GCDC or right. City of Pure representatives are not speaking on behalf of KWA board, but the concern should really be taken to those individual entities. Yeah, right. I think we, right. But we're here, and we're, we can have, we can have authentic public interaction on, I think, simple matters. If you don't have much to offer, then I think you can simply acknowledge that. Um, so, Mr. Okay. O'Brien. Yes, um, uh, Genesee County did uh, uh, petition uh, Oregon Townships for some variances, uh, site plan. Um, some were passed, some were rejected. Uh, we are scheduled to go to uh, site plan with the site plan board or I'm not sure. Planning Commission. Site, the Planning Commission next Tuesday and uh, next Tuesday we will uh, uh, discuss with uh, the Planning Commission what they would like to do. So at this point until we have feedback from the Planning Commission we have no commitment on the right. building. Okay. Uh, with, with, with regard to Care County Water Authority, um, as I said, this I think this is the last meeting for the year. Um, our next scheduled meeting is when, Janice? January. Uh, so I'd like to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and a, and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next year. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We do have the snow for the hour. Yeah. So we're we'll starting there. Uh, Trustee, off will begin with you and we'll, we'll work around to our... I'm going to skip this one. All right. Trustee Neely. The happy holiday season to us all. Trustee Henry. Question to you, Mr. Ryan, if I could, to the chair. Yes. John, is there an update on the construction of the American pipe when they plan on actually producing pipe in their new structure? Do you know? Um, yes, please. Okay. Um, right now, they were, they were set for December 7th. Uh, they had some equipment left on a container ship uh, and they are expecting uh, mid-December now. Uh, uh, they have been talking about doing a, a, a groundbreaking or, a, or a, a tour of the facility in, in mid-January. So as soon as they set that date, uh, we will uh, uh, get that out to all the board members. Uh, I think they would like to have a, a signing or signing ceremony or basically the first piece of pipe that uh, comes off the bill uh, for the board members to sign and, and all the participants that have been involved in this project. So as soon as we get that date, uh, I think it'll be early January. Uh, I do know that they have hired staff and that staff is down in Columbia, South Carolina right now training on their facility they're making pipes so that when they come back to Flint, they will be able to begin full production. They'll transport that by rail and truck? Is that the case? Mm -hmm. um, if it's coming out of the Flint facility, it'll be just transported by truck. If it comes out of Columbia, they will trans they will rail it to the Flint site and transport it from the Flint site to the construction site. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Green. Wish everybody a happy and safe holiday season. We we'll look forward to seeing you next year. And congratulations on your final election. Look forward to working with you in the state later. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Trustee Tucker? Not much to say. Just happy holidays to everybody. We'll see you all in February or January. <laughs> Trustee Curtis? Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Uh, State Representative Nimley, thank you and for your service and wish you all the state. Thank you. Trustee Simla. Happy holidays all. Carverson. Uh, well, first I wanted to comment that I'm happy to hear or see that we now have the documents in place for corporate and 
original incorporating members to purchase water from the authority and, and from uh, the two entities. Uh, the city of Lapeer's answer, not as a mm -hmm. uh, KWA board member, is we are, we actually have a couple of items on this month's agenda scheduled working towards a decision. Uh, I believe it's relatively close. I have a meeting actually today with uh, Mr. O'Brien. After this meeting, we are waiting to hear one. There's one uh, number that we can't tack down to do our final analysis chart. It's out of our control. It's out of Genesee County's control, KWA's control. <coughs> I had a meeting uh, on Monday trying to get that number again, and it doesn't appear we're going to get it. So, um, to answer your question, it's closer than it was uh, the last time we met. Uh, it's it's uh, very close. The decision is very close to being made. And happy holidays to everyone. Congratulations to uh, our representatives who put us in position to win such a nice award. Thank you again for hosting. Uh, Vice Chair, Ditto on the holidays. <laughs> hey, well, uh, thank you everyone for continuing to, to travel to our various meeting locations. I think we have a good tradition established here of meeting uh, in each of the incorporating uh, communities uh, that, that's been a way for citizens to be able to engage. I also appreciate everyone's uh, willingness to be transparent. Uh, in this process, I think we've done a very good job as an authority of, of responding um, to issues or questions that have come up, be they from um, trustees or or from the public. We've been very thorough uh, in that regard, and that's that's the kind of organization that I'm, I'm proud to represent. Uh, I'd also say uh, thank you to our team uh, for working on the bond deal. I think we all recognize we got uh, incredible rates in a very uncertain time, and, and that uh, saved all of our uh, communities. Uh, money in the long term and was just one more uh, kind of positive step in the direction of better regional cooperation and um, creating opportunities long term uh, for us with economic development. So uh, thank you all for your service uh, in 2014 and the beginning of 2015 uh, with our new fiscal year. Uh, we'll meet again uh, soon. Meeting adjourned.